here we will see a C sharp program to find a number is prime or not. So for accepting a number, we are declaring an integer variable. The name of the variable is n. By console.write, we are displaying a message on the console saying enter a positive integer. Because we are checking a number is prime or not, so we, so we need a positive integer. By using console.read line, we can accept values from the keyboard, but it will be in the form of string. So for conversion, we have to use convert.toin32, which will convert the string into integer format. Now, if the user entered number is less than two, so if it is zero, one or negative number, so it's an invalid entry because it's not defined for prime number. So we display that it's an in invalid entry by using console.write line and wait for a key press by console.read key. After that, we have to return the main method because there is no process to be done if you enter a number which is less than two. So we return zero from the method, main method. So we have to change the return data type of the main method as int so that the program will stop execution if you enter a number which is less than two. So in case if you have entered a number which is greater than or equal to two, then we need to check whether the number is prime or not. Now the logic for checking a number is prime or not is that we have to keep on dividing the number starting from two till half of the number. In case the number got divisible, then we can say that it's not prime number. For that purpose, we are using a flag variable which is initialized as zero. And for taking all the values starting from two till half of the number, we are using a for loop with index variable i. So i takes the value starting from two till half of the number. We are checking whether number is divisible by i. So it will check whether number is divisible by two, three, four till half of the number. Any times it got divisible, we make the flag as one and break from the loop. So after completing the loop, we can check whether the value of flag is one or zero. If the value of the flag became one, that means the n was divisible by, n was divisible by some of the numbers in between two till half of the value, half of that number, then that means it's not a prime number. So if flag is one, the number got divisible. So we display the message by using console.write line that the number n is not a prime number. Otherwise, we display the message that the number n is a prime number. If flag is zero, the number can be printed as prime number. So we are using a formatting in console.write line by using dollar so that we can also display the variable values and some string. So we are displaying variable value n by mentioning inside the curly braces. So the value of n will be displayed and after that it will show that whether it is a prime or not. Execute and see the program output. The same program logic if you are able to implement by using while loop, kindly comment below. The same program that we have to check a number is prime or not, but rather than using the for loop, we have to use a while loop. 